Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're familiar with the shopping scene in nigeria you most likely know that you can tell the difference between buying groceries at the local market and buying groceries at supermarkets like shop rides you also definitely know how thrifting aka buying okrika is in nigeria so in today's video i am going to show you thrift or okrika stores here in canada and the difference between buying groceries or foodstuffs at canadian supermarkets compared to buying them or african or in the case of this video chinese stores here in canada enjoy so we are going to attempt to go to the the farthest thrift store from our house you ready come with us A lot of Chinese stores in Canada, but most of them are downtown Toronto because that is, I think that is where most Chinese people live. So that's why most of the Chinese stores are there. And a lot of the things there are cheaper, like way cheaper than the Canadian supermarkets or the Canadian stores. I will show you some examples. Now, if you look at this, you will see prices like two dollars, three dollars for chicken, for like ten pieces of chicken. This is three dollars for eggs. But I'm going to show you the prices of these same things in the Canadian store. Now I want to buy goat's meat and there's no other place you can find goat's meat except the Chinese stores or the African stores because there is no goat's meat in the Canadian stores, you know? So, yeah. Now that we are doing at the Chinese store, I'm just going to wait for the bus to go to the Canadian store so I can show you the differences in prices and basically the difference in shopping in both places. Amongst the various grocery stores, like official grocery stores that are not Chinese stores or African stores in Canada, I'm taking you to one of the cheapest and it's called no frills but still even as it's the cheapest 
you would see the difference between it and the Chinese store that we are coming from. Yeah. So let's go. There is also another um, Okrika store. I will show you guys this store now. So I walked into the Canadian store and found out that the plantain here is even cheaper than the plantain at the Chinese store. I wonder why. But that's the only thing that is cheaper here. <laughs> Every other thing is more expensive. Yeah. Now we are at the beef or chicken place or section. And if you look closely, you will see the prices of these chickens. I'm saying six dollars, eight dollars, twelve dollars, you know, for chicken that I bought at two dollars at the Chinese store. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> now, recently I spoke to someone and she told me that the quality of the chickens differ, and that is why it is more expensive at the Canadian store. Aside from that, you can see that the Canadian store is pretty neater looks really decent you know ac all those things all these things so definitely you would expect it to be much more expensive but as a cheap broadcast nigga that i am <laughs> i always go to the chinese stores except i'm too tired to go all the way now um the plantain like i showed you was one dollar and something in the chinese store and in this store it's not even up to a dollar so um i guess that one we give it to the <laughs> Canadian store but I don't know maybe it's because the one in the Chinese store was very ripe maybe that's why it's more expensive I don't know um, when it comes to protein so I showed you the chicken I to showed you how I bought like 10 pieces or 20 pieces of chicken in the Chinese store <laughs> for two dollars and here it's about eight pieces for six dollars they have another like 10 pieces for like another 12 dollars so if you want to buy chicken you know where to go so if it's for the tomatoes and all of that i think it's pretty much the same in both places but the canadian store does not have good meat <laughs> but the chinese store has good meat so this is my verdict to me though the Ch the canadian store is very close to my house i mean it's like a uh, five minutes walk from my house or 10 minutes walk at max from my house i think i would rather spend the time and take the bus to the chinese store because i have a, i have liberty to choose from wide like a wide range of things that i want i mean there is goat meat there what is life without goat meat and the chicken is cheap so i mean tomatoes and all those things we can see pash pash biting tomato yeah i bought in tomato at the chinese store too for a dollar and something and i don't even think they have tin tomato in the canadian store but anyway so that's my verdict let me know what you think and let me like know this video so i can do more i'm going home now my hands are freezing so see you guys later I can climb the mountain top